So I see this all the time, right? I see people flipping houses and they make some of these mistakes. And I think it's incredibly important that you guys avoid doing these, right? These are some common mistakes that people do when they're flip housing that's going to lead you to losing money, right? So if you're just getting started in house flipping or you got a few under your belt and you're trying to get better, you're trying to expand what you're doing, you got to avoid doing these things. I know it's tempting and I see the trap, right? It kind of lures you in. But you do these things, folks. You're going to lose money. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I help people like you. Invest in real estate, folks. I work with you one-on-one -on, -one on this show. Now, today's show, I'm working on my client, Mark. Mark, you are an investor from Minneapolis, and you're flipping houses. And you sent me this house because you want to flip it, right? The way this stuff works on this show, by the way, folks, if you want, you watch this show, you could utilize the tips and tricks and strategies that I give you here on this show and you could flip houses in your own backyard, do real estate investing in your own backyard. These are the tools you need uh, to be successful wherever you live, right? What we're talking about today is market uh, agnostic. Is that the right word? Agnostic is like you don't believe it until it's proven. I don't know. It's It don't matter where you live, okay? What I'm trying to say is it don't matter where you live. The stuff I'm going to teach you today are some of the most common problems that people have when they're flipping houses. And Mark, you fell into that trap. Uh, this particular house is a trap, and I'm going to show you exactly why that is, right? And folks, for further clarification, Mark is actually partnering with my team to flip houses. We do so in the Cleveland market, and we handle the on-the-ground work. So if after this show you want to take it one step further and partner with me in the same way Mark is doing, just click the notes below the video and book a free call with my team. But what I'm about to teach you will work and make sense in any market, right? This is a perfect example of some traps, okay? Now, Mark, you sent me this property. It's in Wycliffe, Ohio, and it is listed at 89500 It has been on the market for 139 days. Now, the reason you sent me this deal is because it's got some things that would lead you to believe that it's going to be a good flip. It makes sense, right? This is why these are common problems, common mistakes new home flippers make, okay? Problem number one, or should we say like honeypot number one, right, is the price, 89 and a half, okay, is much lower than uh, what you would view as normal comps in the area, right? You're looking on Zillow, Realtor.com, right? You're checking your Zestimates, which I, first, all right, I get uh, before I even get into the mistake I was going to talk about. Mistake number one, folks. Thinking the Zestimate is accurate. Oh, gee. The Zestimate is more honest. I, what would I rather do? What would I rather do than accept the Zestimate as truth, folks? I would rather eat sushi from a gas station, folks. I would rather play Bloody Knuckles with Charlie Sheen. I would rather, I would trust a Nigerian prince who has $25 billion to give to me, but he just needs my credit card so he can transfer the funds. Those are all things that I find more reliable than the Zestimate. Uh, by the way, side note. Recently, we posted a video about Zillow losing $500 million flipping houses. Zillow is so bad at flipping houses, they lost $500 million. That's in the notes below. But anyway, so number one, thinking this estimate is accurate. It ain't! All right, number two, what I was getting at, though, right? If you look at the comps in this neighborhood, right, which is what you did, Mark, you see a lot of properties at 150 k okay? And you're at 89 and a half. So you're like, well, dude, that's a big spread, right? So number one, Zestimate, right? Big mistake. 
Number two, second mistake, not really understanding the comps, but, right, the reason this lured you in, this estimate's good. Comps appear to be good, right? Right, so you got your estimate, your comps, those are two big things. And then the last thing that makes you think this is a really good flip is it's just dated, right? This is kind of what you want. When you're a new house flipper, this is the exact kind of property you want, though, right? You want something that's just, like, it looks like it's got good bones, but it, you could just see it's dated, right? Like this green carpet, this old nasty carpet, this is money in your pocket, right? You want to get into flips like this, right? There, you just got to do a cosmetic reno, right? Like this kitchen, this is a perfect kitchen, for the home flipper, right? It's just old. It's dated, right? You could spruce that bad boy up, right? So I see, Mark. I see why you liked this one, right? Zestimate tells you it's a good deal, right? Zestimate tells you it's a good deal. The actual comps appear to tell you it's a good deal, but they don't. We'll get into that. Actual comps tell you it's a good deal, and it just needs cosmetic repairs. That's why you dig this deal, Mark. But this, this is the problem with this deal. The comps, the comps are tricky, Okay, I ran through all those comps. And by the way, folks, when you're running comps, okay, you need to run comps. And you got an urban area, highly populated area, right? Lot sizes are small. We're not dealing with like one, two, three, four, five acre properties, right? You fit 10 of these in an acre, okay? Small stuff. You want to run your comps. The best comps are six month comps, similar properties over a quarter mile radius, okay? Uh, this one, sometimes if you don't have enough sales to get enough data, you could expand it a little bit. This one, I went a half mile out over the last six months, right? And what I uncovered was a ton of properties that were selling for about 150, right? So that's why Mark is over here thinking, dude, I'm on the right track. We got a 60K spread. It doesn't look like I have to spend 60K uh, to fix this up. Probably going to be a good flip. Unfortunately, no. Those cops are deceiving, right? And this is a huge thing. Outside of following this estimate, this is probably the biggest takeaway you should get, right? Never buy a one-off property. Never buy something that is is different than the norm, okay? Almost all of those comps that I ran, all those comps that show you your property should have an ARV in like the 150K range. They're three-bed, two-bath bungalows. This one is not. This one is a 2-1. There are little to no 2-1 comps, right? So you're taking a 2-1, right, in a whole area where everything else is a 3-2. You got the ugly duckling. You got the odd man out, right? You don't want to stand out when it comes to real estate, when it comes to flipping houses, right? Like when we flip houses, right, when we do rental properties, we don't look for like, wow, pizzazz, colors, right? We don't try to go one off, one off the wall. We don't want to stick out. No, no, no. We go to our suppliers and go, what is the number one selling skew in the USA this year? And guess what? Regardless of if I like that color, if you like that color, that's the color we're painting the fucking house. Because I'm not buying the fucking house. You're not buying the fucking house. You're trying to flip the house. And the number one skew is statistical data showing you that the majority of people in this country are going to be okay with that color, right? They it might not be a lot of their favorite colors, but you're not trying to look for that one buyer's favorite color. You're trying to look for a color that's going to appeal moderately to the largest majority of people, right? It's a numbers game, right? So you never want to stick out. So by doing a 2-1 in a neighborhood where everything else is a 3-2, you're sticking out. It makes determining your ARV much harder. Now, as far as the ARV goes, I'm putting a number of 120 on it, but that's not incredibly scientific, right? Now, a lot of those comps at 150, okay, we could make this house look a lot better, right? As far as like my budget on how much we'd want to renovate this thing, we would need to put about 39 G's into this thing, right? Kitchen, floors, walls, bathroom, right? 39 G's, simple cosmetic rehab. After putting 39 G's into this thing, we would have a home that looks better than the other comps, that is nicer than the other comps. And like we're going in a low price point with this particular flip. So your first time home buyers are going to go in, they're going to see it. They're, they're going to be wowed by how nice the house is, right? But this is the problem. Like, you could wow them, but, like, our one-off here is a big issue, right? It's a 2-1 instead of a 3-2, right? So no matter how awesome we make the house look, no matter how uh, in line with what's popular we go, like, we're following, you know, we're getting the most popular appliances, the most popular colors. We're giving people what they want. You're never going to get over that hump 
of that missing bedroom in a situation like this, right? You get a a, a family coming in there. You know, they got two kids, husband, wife, two kids, something like that. Two, uh, it's 2022. I shouldn't say husband, wife, two kids. I'm sure that offends a lot of people. Uh, two adults, you know, however they are. Dude, lady, lady, dude, lady, lady, dude, dude. Yeah, I got. I think I got all the combos. If there's a combo I missed, insert that combo there. Two adults, two kids, right? They're going to want that bedroom. No matter how great they love the kitchen, they still don't have enough locations to put their kids, right? So you're never going to get over that hump, right? So it's really going to cut off a lot of your buyers, right? So, again, that just makes comping this so hard. So I, I go with like a 120 comp, right? And with the 39000 in repairs, and that's what leads me to the second biggest issue I see home flippers doing, right? Uh, well, I guess the first issue, right, is buying an ugly duckling, right? You buy the ugly duckling, you're going to lose. And then we also talked about this estimate. You buy, you buy based on this estimate, you're going to lose, right? Another one, another one is not properly uh, estimating your ARV, right? You get too greedy with your ARV. You might see the 150, think you could really hit 150. Probably not. So I went super conservative here and, you know, made you lose 30K on that bedroom, right? So that's the third one. And another one is not properly calculating uh, your renovation costs, right? We It's 2022. Just like we can't say husband-wife in 2022, we got to say like adult-adult, partner-partner, he, 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 she, they, they, whatever their fucking pronouns are. You got to understand what else we deal with in 2022, people, is rising renovation costs. They're up, they're down, they're up, they're down, they're up, they're down. I'm just kidding. It's 22. They're up, they're up more, they're up more, they're up more, right? COVID is really affecting the labor uh, the labor industry. It's really affecting construction. So prices are very high. So you might look at a house like this, and you might not understand that it's really going to be $39,000 in today's economy. Uh, to get a professional contractor to just cosmetically flip this thing, right? So people are constantly uh, underestimating their renovation costs on flips like this, right? So you make all those mistakes, right? You think the ARV is higher than it is. You think the renovation is lower than it is. You buy a house that is one off from the norms of the neighborhood. And I'm not talking one off in a good way either, right? If it's a neighborhood with a bunch of three twos, and you found yourself a 4-3, that's pretty good. We could work with that, but you don't want to go the other way do a 2-1. And then, of course, following this estimate, right? So because of those issues with this property, those common mistakes people make, Mark, I don't believe you have any deal here, right? Because here's the situation. They just dropped it down to 89 and a half. I believe they're probably going to get some, like, handyman or just, like, first-time homebuyer who will eventually come in and buy it just because it's so cheap. So if I had to guess, I think the property will eventually sell to somebody for, like, 75 80 right? Whether or not they renovate it, I don't know. Like, it's livable, right? It's just cosmetic stuff. So I think you'll get somebody in there who will buy that. Because for you to put together a deal uh, based on, like, what your goals are, right, you're trying to flip properties using the 70% rule, uh, you'd have to buy it. Uh, for fifty six thousand seven hundred, right? Because my renovation budget there thirty nine, like you can't really fudge those numbers to make your deal work. Like that's just what it's going to cost, right? And you can't really fudge your ARV because that's really. That, I mean, I don't see it being uh, smart to go in thinking you could sell it for more, right? You're only going to be able to sell it for what buyers are willing to pay for it, right? So you'd have to then come down on your acquisition costs to make your deal work, right? You'd have to be at 56 and a half. But I just see no scenario where the seller would take that hit because I truly believe they'll have no problem selling it. You know, I think it'll eventually will sell in like the 75 to 80K range. So in my opinion, Mark, there's no deal to be had here. And if you tried to do the deal you'd fall into the trap of all those common house flipping mistakes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.